Okay, this is my 2017 Scamp Travel Trailer without a bathroom. I picked her up in um, April of 2017. Brand new from the back of Minnesota from the factory. I think the base price was in the neighborhood of 11000 And with all the extras I got and everything, it came to about 14000 But But um, I'll show you what I got. I got the awning extra. I'll show you how to um, put that out. I got the light that was extra. Down here, I got the AC, the outside AC unit. Also, I got away from those white wagon wheels, and I went to these nice chrome wheels with a wider profile tire. I also took the red scamp off the trailer, the side decals, and I got um, Melissa Martin out of Georgia to make these decals for me. That's the name of my trailer, Janie. Um, back here, you got the... Um, Fresh water connection, I'll show it to you a little better when we get around to that. But anyway, let me show you how this awning opens up. It's pretty simple. You just just crank it out like so. And then when you get about halfway out, you let the legs down. Pretty easy to do. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Okay, just pull the legs down just like that. goes up pretty fast actually then you crank it the rest of the way out there you go that's the awning and one thing about this awning when you set it up you want to make sure one side is higher than the other side and that way when it rains you won't carry your you can't be down when it gets a big puddle right there it'll kind of like go off one side of the trailer but that's a view of my 2017 scamp from the passenger side and let's go let's go to the front now and check okay, that the out. front side of the trailer you got your jack two propane tanks originally i got it with one single tank and I ran out of propane in Montana. I said, I'm not gonna let that happen again. So I went to the dual propane tanks. Um, my first year I had it. I also got a gauge installed because before I didn't have a gauge so I really couldn't tell how much uh, propane I had. Instead of getting the 24 battery, I got the 27 battery, a little bit bigger so I'd have a little bit more time when I'm running off my battery. I got the outside light, that was extra. I'll show you how this rock shield comes down. It's really really simple you just take the, the clips off right here just like so pops off just like so and there you go you got a nice nice view out of your window um pretty nice overall make sure you always keep a lock on your trailer and another thing when you're at the factory this is my plug into shore power they give you a, a cheap adapter to do your shore power with go out and buy your nice one i think i bought this one out in california for twelve dollars that's all it cost me because my original little one was about that big and i actually melted it so i knew i had to come up with something better than that okay let's check out okay the this is the driver's now. side okay back here this is where your shore power comes from this cord right here i got pulled out because i charged the battery a lot right here you got your cable which was extra so if you get to a private campground, they have cable, boom, you plug it off right up there. This is your um, exhaust for the furnace on the inside. Right here, you got your city water connection, and you got your drain right there. If you notice, I went to toggle bolts on, this, on these two pieces here, because the reason is, it came with little black squares, and I was stripping them out because they're made of plastic. And with these, all I have to do is take the toggle bolt off, That's one. That's two. Pull the grill off. And there you go. You got inside. Controls your refrigerator. Okay. Refrigerator is propane, shore power, and 12 volt. Um, and you can't run but one at a time, of course. 
and you got your settings high medium and low and then you got your pilot light right there for when you're running off of propane but anyway that's it and um hope you enjoyed the tour of my 2017 scamp travel trailer without a bathroom i've got over um over about over a year worth of camping out of it about 40,000 miles but i've basically lived out of it almost a year um i've had my ups and downs with it but i took it back to back to minnesota and they fixed me right on up got everything fixed for me but overall i'm really happy with it i mean the first six months i had it had a lot of bugs to work out but after that you know cruise sailing i pulled it with a subaru outback 2012 with 2.5 motor and like i said i've got over 40,000 miles pulling this thing around the country in canada but Hopefully you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something and if you would please subscribe give me a thumbs up if you liked it. See you in the next video and check out some of my other videos. I got over a hundred of them out there and I'm steadily working at getting better with them. But that's it. Okay the back side of the trailer you got your spare tire and of course Melissa Martin again out of Georgia made my tire cover because I wanted to get away from that Scamp Red and their advertisement for the Scamp Travel Trailer. The only window on the trailer that is a slide window it also has a screen it's back window the side windows they're crank out windows okay it's actually a two-piece shell top and a bottom they put them together and a scamp trailer does have a wood floor in it so you got to keep an eye on it make sure you're not rotting it out or anything like that i thought about putting a rubber coating on it i just haven't gotten around to do it as far as setting the trailer up so it stays stable you got a leg on each side just pull it forward like that and then down with it and then you push your leg down and and it also has a little bar that i don't have with me right now and you can crank it up to take some of the pressure off and i think what it does it i've talked to other campers and they say if you i saw one camper and he had his um scamp up on um jack stands it takes the pressure off the bearings on the wheels which you need to you need to redo your bearings on your wheels about every, I'd say at least every 5,000 miles. I think first time I put 20,000 miles on it before I repacked my bearings on my wheels. But when I talked to Ryan up at Scamp and Parts, he said about every 5,000 miles to do it. But that's the back side of the Scamp. I showed you the rest of the trailer, so I figured I might as well go ahead and show you the top of it too. To the right there, that's a TV antenna. Of course, you got the big old air conditioner, which is brand new, because I did knock it off going through Georgia. It went up under a bridge. It was too low and ripped it completely off. So you want to make sure that's sealed so you don't get no water leaks inside. And then back there, you got the fantastic fan, which works really good. And once in a while, you want to check the top of it. See those little clamps holding the awning on? You want to make sure they're covered real good with silicone so you don't get no leaks. And same thing for all your little button caps up here. You want to check with them and just make sure you don't have any leaks. But anyway, that's the top of my scamp. Okay, let's move on to the inside of the scamp. Like I said, this is a 2017 scamp without a bathroom. And as you walk up to it, you'll notice I have a screen door. Which I found very useful to keep the bugs out and keep the doggies in. Okay, the countertop right here. I built this countertop and I'll moving in a second but i built it so i'd have more room but under the countertop is a a sink and a stove down here you have your refrigerator and it's a pretty good size refrigerator i'll open that up also you have two cabinets you got your heater right there i also took down those 1970 rails they had up right there and i put wood rails you have cabinets above the stove and sink I did get a back cabinet I also installed that light right there so at night when I'm reading and stuff I'd have a light I also have another set of cabinets right here this is what it's gonna look like with your bed down I'll put the bed up in a little bit and also I changed the curtains out because I wanted um a little bit more of my style than the curtains they had in here then over here is a cabinet I put these um, baby hooks up there to keep the 
and in my cabinet I put shelves as you can see a lot of storage over in the corner I got my TV which is also a, a DVD player and a TV which is real nice on a rainy day if you're stuck inside the cabin okay back over on this side I have a top cabinet above the sofa I have a light above the sofa which is not cut on this area here is my sofa but it does turn into a bunk bed and I'll show you that in a second um, as far as that that is not a custom made cover it's just a blanket I got at Walmart also I changed out the floor because the floor they had and it just wasn't up to my likings I also trimmed it out of the quarter round and it made it look a whole lot better so give you a quick overall view of it one more time I also painted the cabinets what I did I I sanded them down roughly 220 sandpaper then I put a coat of primer on them and then I put the enamel paint on top and I put one coat of slacking on it okay there's the inside of the refrigerator it'll it'll keep you going for a while I mean it runs off a of propane 12 volt or you can hook it up to shore power and it works really good I mean keeps my stuff nice and cold then here's a, um, the stove and the sink I was telling you about that I have a cover on it I just found it a lot easier to have the space and what I usually do I just take the cover off and put it over there on the sofa I'll show you how I built that in just I built a my countertop out of one by fours and I believe it's half inch plyboard and I basically just made sure the handles on the stove wouldn't hit anything and I built it around the sink and it works fine for me I mean it's really super nice to have all that extra space also you'll notice I put on um, baby safety locks on everything keep the counter in place when I'm driving keep the refrigerator closed I put one down there and they work really well I also put them over here on this cabinet because this cabinet here got ripped off going through the roads in Canada and then I also put them on that cabinet too because that cabinet door got ripped off going across Canada they really helped out a whole lot they um they just work for me okay there you go bunk bed in the front it took me about 45 seconds to set it up and I think it'll hold weight up to about 150 pounds which is really good for kids you also have storage up under there and I'll show you okay, that now. Okay, you flip the cushion up. I got it flipped up there. And you have really ample storage in here. I mean, to put it whatever you want to see. You got storage on both sides. This side and that side. And I'll show you the bed now. Okay, this is what the bed looks like down. And I'm getting ready to show you what the bed looks like up. And there's the bed up. It'll sit on two people very comfortably. Four people if you want to play cards or something like that. Also, um... It has storage up under the seat cushions. I'll show you that in a little bit. But right here is your fuse box. It's right below the the seat. Okay, better look at your fuse box. You got breakers. You got your fuses. You got your breakers. It's a good idea to label them because if you blow a fuse, like I've blown a couple of fuses, 30 amps, and with my furnace running, it's pretty hard to find me up under here trying to figure out which is which. But so it's a good idea, you know, if you flip a breaker, label it and label your fuses too, and that'll keep you going. Okay, this is an important one right here. You got your CO monitor, your alarm, and that's really the hand, heavy to, handy to have, especially if you get like a propane leak or something, which I have had before, but it comes in super okay, handy. Like I said, you got plenty of storage under both um, cushions on both sides, and you also down this container on this side you got the interverter which is right there you have your interverter which sometimes it comes unplugged or it has on me before and I didn't have electricity through my whole trailer and all it was was it coming unplugged right there but there you okay, go okay right here next to your bed you got your thermostat for your furnace and you also got a, a DC plug-in for your laptop or your phone or whatever you need but um that's basically a view of my 13 foot scamp trailer well I hope you enjoyed the video of my 13 foot scamp travel trailer without a bathroom like I said it's a 2017 I picked it up in April 
of 2017 and it's now 2019 I've gotten about 40,000 miles on it and about one year of steadily living out of it and it does just fine for me and I travel with two small little Yorkies Amber and Little Man and it's enough room for both of us you know it has been tough on a couple of rainy days or let's say a rainy month in Texas but other than that the scamp has been great for me and um Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and check out some of my other videos because I have like 101 of them out there. But enjoy and be safe.